See who's leaving today. I am. Oh, where are you going? I'm going to Denmark. How are you all connected? How do you know each other? I gave her up for adoption 55 years ago. And we just met. I'm her sister. You're her sister? This is my mother as well, yes. Yeah. I am. Really? I was 16 when I had her. Yeah. Here in Canada? Yeah. My parents in Denmark were immigrating to Canada in 55, 1955. <laughs> and they adopted me when they were there. And uh, my mom got homesick, so they went to Denmark again and took me and my brother with them. How did you actually find each other? She found me. I found her. I him. couldn't. No. I tried a yeah. number of years ago to find her, and I couldn't. I didn't know whether she knew she was adopted. That didn't give me a lot of hope. Uh, my mother in Denmark told me that I was adopted when I was seven years old. How old were you when you thought, I should find my mom? The first time it was in the 80s. Uh, 81 or something like that. And then I started again for four or five years ago. Uh, actually, when I first got mom's name, I cried. I haven't known her name for 54 years, and suddenly I did. That must have been an incredible moment in your life when you realized that you'd found her. I have always had a place in my heart for my mom because I knew that she was only a young girl and she couldn't keep me. So I, I guess I wanted to be filled, and it's, it's now. That's why I kept going. Can you take me back to being 16 and what happened? Well, I was 16 and I had to leave school. I had no education and I had no help from my parents. I just felt that I couldn't raise her on my own. So I, f I just felt that it was best that she go with people that would, I figured, would love her. It's a huge decision for a 16-year-old. Uh -huh. It's the biggest decision of my life. Do you remember the last moments that you had with her? They wouldn't let me hold her but I insisted that I'd give her a kiss goodbye. And I told them if they didn't let me do that, that I wouldn't give her up. And they let me. And it was a terrible moment. But I don't regret the decision. Because now I know she had a good life, better than I could have given. How did it feel to actually just see each other for the first time? Oh, amazing. Like an amazing. explosion, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Inside. Yeah. yeah. In the five weeks I have been here, I actually I feel like a part of the family. She feels like my daughter. Yeah. I always wanted a sister, and now I have one. It's like I have been gone for a moment and come back again. We think it's a fairy tale. So we all got a fairy. All of you have the same tattoo? Yeah. Yep. yep. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's just a miracle. I'm Thank so you. happy for you. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Take care. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you.